Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover session five or unit one digital documentation. Now in this, we are going to study about the label, how to use the label and why are we using the label that everything we will see in this session. Now for first of all, I'm going to show you what is a label actually. So now here, as you can see that few people title, first name, last name, their city and uh, contact number is available. So actually what can we do with this? That's uh, Generally, this is happening in the schools that uh, whenever a school wants to invite the student's parent on any particular occasion or in generally in the annual day or annual functions. So what they are doing that on the envelope, they are just pasting details of the parents means their title, first name, last name, contact number, address. So in that way, there is no need to write detail of each parent and uh, in this way very easily we can create label of hundred or thousand students by using few options of open office writing. So now here, this is actually the label and now I'm going to show you how these kind of labels can be created. Now just to create these kind of labels, first of all, what I have done already that I have typed detail of so all of these people in one table of the database. So that I'm going to show you here. So here, this is one database and in the database, one table is created and name of the table is label table. And when I'm clicking on it, I'm getting here one table. So here, as you can see, the details of all the eight people are available here. And now whenever I want to send invitation letter or some kind of letter to all these people. So by using label feature, I, I can create labels very easily and those labels can be pasted on the invitation letters and blah. So that's why we are using the label. Now you will see how can we create the labels by using this data that is already typed in this table. So just to create labels, I'm going to use open office writer. So now I'm just moving to it. So open office writer, we can directly open from here. So file new and text document. So here, as you can see that I have opened open office writer, new document. So just to create label for all the entries, those are available in my that table. I'm going to use file tab and in the file tab here, new and in the new, I'm going to use labels and after the labels, first of all, in the labels window, we are getting here three tabs. Now, first of all, just see the use of the first tab that is a labels tab. Now in the labels tab, we have to first of all, select the database. So as I'm clicking on this drop down arrow here, I'm getting list of all the databases available in my computer's memory. And now as my that table contains details of eight people is available in label database. So that's why I'm selecting that database from here. Now after that table, so table that is containing details of all the eight people I have to select from here. So as in this database, label database, this table is available, label table. So I'm selecting this from here. So in this way, database is selected that is containing the table and table is also selected that is containing the actual data. And after that, here in the database field, you have to click on this drop down arrow. And here we are getting all the fields. Those are available in that table. Now fields are what I'm just going to show you that table again. So this will be clear to you. So in this table, as you can see that first field is title. Second field is first name. Next field is last name. Next is contact number and last field is city. So these are the fields available in this table. So now in the database field, I'm clicking on this drop down again. And here as I want label in what way that in one line, I want title, first name, last name, then in the next line, I want city. And then in the third line, I want contact number. So for that, I have to bring these fields or I have to shift these fields in this box in that particular format. So title, first of all, I want so title is selected and thereafter this arrow is clicked thereafter a space and then first name shifted then again a space thereafter last name and shifted in the left hand side. So here in the first line, I have included title, first name and last name thereafter city I want in the new line. So that's why now my cursor is in the new line and thereafter I've selected city from here and then city is also shifted in the left hand side and thereafter contact number again I want in the new line. So enter and contact number is also shifted in this side. So in this manner here I've set the format that whenever I will get the label then in my first line title will be there thereafter first name then last name then in the next line city will be there and then in the last line contact number will be there. Now after that, now what is the use of this option format and brand and type so that I'm going to show you. So for that, I'm just again going to refer my that label those I have already created. So as here you can see in these labels, 
actually two columns are available this is the first column and this is the second column containing labels and next is here we have actually four rows so in this page we have two columns and four rows so this we can set by using that format option so how can we use it so that i'm going to show you so here first one is brand so here this is the list of the brands available here so one we can select according to our convenience and thereafter we can select one type from here so as you can see that i selected new type here so here you can see that what is happening 9 by 18 so it means there will be nine columns and 18 rows if i am selecting this then and, and the size of each label will be what 5.50 cm into 2.75 cm now when i am selecting this latest type so here you can see now changes there that here in this case we will get two columns only and four rows on each paper and size of each label will be 5.50 cm by 2.75 cm so first one here is width and 2.75 next one is here height so in this way we can select from format option how many labels we want on one paper so that is the purpose of this option so here now you have understood use of all the options available in labels tab now next one is the format now already you have seen i have used some options in the format tab and there we are getting our labels in a particular width and height but this we can change if i want label of 6 cm by 3 cm so that can be done by using this format tab so by using this format tab we can mention the size of each label manually so here horizontal page and vertical page now what is the meaning of this horizontal page and vertical page so this is the size of complete label that is horizontal page and label, uh, vertical page after that now there will be some gap between the border and the text so we want our text in how much height and width so that we have to mention from here by using width and height options now left margin top margin so here you can see that page is starting from this place and label is starting from this place so this is our in this case is the left margin and in the same manner page is starting from here and top of the label is starting from here so this is what top margin so this also we can change by using these two options left margin and top margin and thereafter how many columns and rows we want on our paper so that we can decide from here so in this way by using the format tab manually we can mention dimensions of the label as well as number of columns and rows we want on one paper so in this way this is format tab can be used now next one is the options now in the options one option that is available here is the most important one synchronize and this synchronize option we have to always check because if we are going to do some changes in the format of the label so we will apply those changes only on one label and when we use synchronize option there so automatically the same formatting will get applied on all the labels those are available on one paper so that's why this is very much helpful when we are formatting our label so that's why we have to always check this checkbox so now here you have seen the function of all the three tabs available in the labels window one is options next one is format and the third one is labels now after following all these steps just click on the new document now as i clicked on the new document so here you can see that i am getting one two three four four rows here and two columns so as i selected one format there and that format two columns were there and four rows so that's why i'm getting here two columns and four rows so this is one here now next is what i'm going to show you now the use of a synchronize so as i want to do changes in the format of this means right now you can see on the format toolbar that font face is times new roman font size is 12 but as i want to change these formats just select the first label content only and thereafter in this select the font style that you want so as i want this font style i am selecting thereafter font size i want to reduce so in this way we can reduce the font size and after that now you can see that format of this first label and format of all others label different as i want this format to apply on other labels also so that can be done how just click on this synchronize labels option so as i clicked on the synchronize label option so you can notice that same format got up apply on other labels those are available on this page so in this way we can use synchronize option to apply same formatting on all the labels of the page so this is a one so now here labels we have created now how to take the printout so we can use Ctrl plus p shortcut key and after that just use this option yes so as i'm clicking on this yes option here i am getting mail merge window and in the mail merge window you can see in this area we are getting all the columns and rows those are available in our table so here all are available 
now one important point here is that if you want to create label of few people only so that can be done how that as i want to create label of first four people actually overall eight are there but i want to create label of first four people so that can be done how so just select the first row thereafter keep shift key of the keyboard pressed and thereafter just click on the fourth row so here now you can see that you have selected first four records so in this way if your records are in the continuity and you want to create label of record those are available in continuity so in this way by using the shift key of the keyboard you can select those records and thereafter click on the ok option now one more here is that if i want to create label for second record thereafter this second last record so as i want to create here label for second and second last record so in this situation these records are not in the continuity so whenever we are going to create labels for few records only and if those records are not in the continuity so in that case we have to use control key of the keyboard so i'm just selecting the first record me the second record and thereafter moving to the second last and i'm keeping control key of the keyboard pressed and then selecting the second last one so here now you can see that i have selected second last and second record and now as i click on the ok option i will get label for these two records only so in this way we can create label for selected entries of the table now as i want to create label for all the entries so that's why i'm neither going to use shift nor control and thereafter clicking on this okay now after that okay here i will get one more window and that is a print window now as my computer didn't get connect to the printer so that's why here i'm not getting the printer in this list but if printer is there so we can select the printer and then we can click on the print option now as i want to save all these labels so in future whenever i will get the printer i will be able to take the print out so for that just select this option microsoft print to pdf so in this way you will be able to save your all the labels in pdf format and then after click on this print option now here you have to give name to your pdf file that will contain all the labels so here i am giving the name label so here i have given name to my this pdf label demo that is going to contain all the labels and then after i'm clicking on the save option now all the labels got create and got save on my desktop so now i'm going to show you where that file is and then after i will open that file and then we will see that labels got create or not so i'm just minimizing all these windows and here you can see that label demo the file that i created just now is available on the desktop now i'm going to open it so here now you can see that we are getting all the eight labels in this label demo file so in this way we can create the label and now as i want to send invitation letter to all these people so what can i do i can cut label of each individual that can be pasted on the invitation letter and thereafter that can be sent to the person so in this way we can create the labels now this is a one thing now one more is now first of all i'm going to show you the issue and thereafter uh, i will show you how we can rectify that issue so for that i am just going to open my table that is containing details of all these eight people so here i have opened that table now for example i don't know location of few people so i don't know the location of this person as well as i don't know the location of this person also so here i have removed location or city of two people from my this table now i am going to show you what will be the effect of this so i am going to save the changes and thereafter going to create pdf file again so now nothing we have to do extra this time so i'm just going to take the printer directly from here so yes and after that now you can see here also we are getting the same changes we are not getting location of this person as well as we are not getting location of this person also and then okay now again i'm going to save it this as a pdf i am giving name label demo 1 and there after saving on the desktop now i am opening that file label demo 1 and now here you can see the what is happening that as i have deleted city of this person so that's why here i'm getting blank space okay in the same manner i have deleted city of this person also so that's why i'm getting here blank space now what i want to do that whenever we don't have entry of particular person then in place of that blank space i want this next entry to be shifted upwards so that can be done how so for that i am going to show you the complete procedure so for that again i am moving to the open office writer document so now here whenever we have such situations we have to do changes from here now first of all we have to do what we have to see all the non printing characters available here and we have to replace enter by paragraph now how this can be done that i am showing you so here we are getting this 
standard toolbar and in the standard toolbar here we are getting non printing character so just click on it and after clicking on it you can notice that enter key arrows are available here so just click there and use delete key of the keyboard to remove all the enter keys so now here i have deleted all the enter keys now thereafter as i want cd in the new line so i am using enter key again to shift it to the new line and then contact number in the new line so i am using enter key again so here now you can see that enter key character got replaced by the paragraph character so this we have done so now as here again in the second label you can see we are still getting enter character and as i want to apply changes of this first label on all the other labels available on the page so i am just clicking on this synchronize labels option so this is done so now you can see that other labels enter key also got replaced by the paragraph character so this is done now after that next step is what just click on insert tab and in the insert tab just bring mouse pointer on the fields option and as i brought mouse pointer on the fields option i am getting here some menu and this some menu i have to select this other option now when i am clicking on this other option i am getting here fields window and in the fields window we are getting these six tabs here and we have to select this function step now in the function step we have to use this hidden paragraph option and in the hidden paragraph option here we have to use this condition now we have to give here condition so condition will be what first of all this not will come after that square bracket thereafter name of the database will come that is containing the table so name of the database is label database so i am writing name of the database here label database thereafter dot will come just two separate database and table so dot thereafter label table is the name of the table containing all the data so name of the table i have written here and thereafter field so wherever city is not there so what will happen next row entry will come upwards so that is done so thereafter just click on the square bracket to just enclose this in the square bracket so here now you can see that exclamation thereafter database name dot table name dot field name and after that just click on the insert tab so insert tab is clicked and there after i'm just closing it now after that again i'm going to create all the labels and there after i will see that changes uh, we are getting there or not so yes and after here okay now save as pdf and i am giving name to this file as label demo 2 and there after okay so that file i have saved now going to open that file so here label demo 2 is available opening it so now that file is open and here now you can see in this case that after this person as city was not there so this contact number got shift up so now there is no blank line in the same manner here for this person also previously blank line was there but now this contact number has replaced that blank space and now is available in the second line so in this way whenever we want to remove blank line by the content of the next line so that can be done in this manner so here this session 5 of unit 21 is ending so as well as unit 21 digital documentation is also ending and from the next video i will start second unit that is electronic spreadsheet so this video i am going to end here